Hey guys, this is Garrett McLaughlin. An exercise I want to show today is what's called the hands-free front squat. I use this exercise as a starting point to learn how to properly hold the bar on the shoulders. Uh, a lot of times we always jump to the exercise and want to add weight onto it uh, without first mastering the position of how the bar should properly rest across the front of the shoulders. So by doing that, if you kind of think as far as position here, we don't want the bar so close to the throat that it's actually rubbing there, but we don't want the bar too far forward on the shoulders. You can see usually how the muscle rounds this way. If the bar is too far forward, it's going to go ahead and slide down towards the bicep. So finding a good balanced position across the deltoid that's not rubbing on the throat, that's not sliding off is really what we're looking for. And a big thing this exercise works on is keeping the arms up. You'll notice in a lot of squats, especially front squats, as kids get down to the bottom of the position, they start to come down this way and really let the elbows drop down, which rounds the back and puts us at a dangerous position for injury here. So by keeping the arms up parallel with the ground, keeping that balance point the entire time, we stay in a better, taller position where we can then use the legs, sit back into the hips and drop nice and low into the squat. So to find that position, I'm gonna line up right here on the bar. Again, I'm gonna put it right up against the throat to start and then back off just slightly, raising the arms up, making sure I'm perfectly lined up on the bar. From there, with the legs, I'm gonna drive up, lift that bar up so it's not on my throat right now, but it's just in that right position. That's not gonna slide forward off the shoulders. And then from here, I'm gonna get my squat stance, keeping my arms up parallel to the ground. I'm gonna sink nice and low, making sure those arms are staying parallel to the ground. Again, if my arms start to fall like they typically do for a lot of people at the, at the bottom of the squat, here, that bar is going to fall off. So just by doing that and getting to that position, it, we get a lot of feedback to know if we, if we lean too far forward, that bar is gonna fall and that's it. So that's something I like to call a self-limiting exercise. If you're in the wrong position, it's going to tell you whether it's gonna kind of push on your throat, which is obviously pretty uncomfortable, or the bar is gonna to fall too far forward. So this is a good exercise to implement first that gives you a lot of feedback whether you're doing it right or wrong. If you're doing it wrong, it's pretty much gonna cause a problem somewhere with losing the bar or pressing on you, and you have to start over again. So to see a few good reps here, And that's it. Once we have the hands free front squat, we then go into that rack position here. Again, if the person has enough flexibility through their shoulder, tricep, all those muscles up in there. And then from there, we start to add different weight. So there's a basic uh, squat exercise, the hands free front squat, to work on the starting point to use the bar in that front rack position. Uh, good exercise to try out to see how your position is. Make sure you're up nice and tall, arms parallel to the ground. And then from there, go ahead and add some weight into the regular rack position. Thank you.